made a video in so long. I don't know if this is clear enough, but we're just gonna work with what we got. All I got is a phone. So I'm just gonna keep it on the Hi guys. Um happy 2021 um happy january happy whatever people like to say at the beginning of the year i think that's valid until like the end of january i don't think there's really because you know there's people that you don't see you're not going to see everyone in january you know unless you're that blessed or you move around that much you're really not going to see too many people during january but yeah happy new year's guys do you guys find january equally as overwhelming exhausting but also equally exciting because that's what i'm going through right now january 2022 i feel has this different feel because 2020 we entered jan it's like woo, 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 goals da, da, da. and then now march the pandemic came and then 2020 we were just fucked yeah and then 2021 um we were like oh are we are we not like will they will they not type of thing and we got like a taste of it and like um society kind of opened back up and like this hope for us going back to normal whatever normal is and i don't think we'll ever go back to normal like that will never exist it's like we're gonna be like this is gonna be written in history books like guys had i'm not saying it's the same but like world war one world war two cold war after different pandemics the spanish flu black whatever i can't remember what they're called but like society was not the same so there's never ever going to be a new normal but i feel like now 2022 feels like kind of like a second chance which is weird because it's like it has many twos and it's like you know two is actually quite a spiritual number so personally a number six if you're into numerology so um just check what that means i mean not personal yeah number but universal year number six so two plus two plus two is over if you've watched one of my other videos you know how to calculate numerology so i feel yeah there's that pressure of okay now we have to get shit done like society has now opened up uh we're allowed to do things uh, people are dying less thank god um but still getting sick like guys let's not forget to take care of our immune systems regardless for me where i'm feeling it the most is because i do so much um for those who don't know me, hi, my name is Shishi, Shishi Wanj, DJ, writer, curator, muse here and there, you know, I do a lot of things. So, like, January has this energy of, like, all right, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this, we're doing that, and which I love. Um, if you know me, you know I'm a workaholic. I love, I love that feeling of work and, like, seeing something that you've done and being like, oh, I did that, like, I did that. You know, I, I love that feeling. It gives, like, serotonin dopamine and like all those feelings so and then january also comes in with capricorn season which is i don't think a coincidence because like capricorn is very like um work discipline very traditional in the sense of the hard workers smart workers all about making money strategic discipline and i'm i'm a saturn dominant and saturn rules discipline so for me it just kind of works but yeah, um, it's it's just kind of weird. Like it's there's this excitement for yeah, this, like it's a different kind of excitement. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels it, but it's also a bit overwhelming because it's just like okay, I have all these things that I need to plan out, and now that's when like organization now has to come through. Um, I feel like someone like me, I would go I would go crazy if I was not organized. Um, if you saw the multitudes of notebooks that I have. Um, like yesterday or the day before, I'm not sure. I was going, I was like mapping out some ideas for like um articles and like content I want to make like this year, and I was now trying to look at the ones that I wrote down last year and I couldn't find them. So I'm like, oh shit, what notebook could be? And so I'm going through my notebook. I'm like, this is not this is for a different shade. This is for a different shade. Then I'm like, I had all my ideas in like four different notebooks, and I'm like, shishi, come on. So I'm trying to be more organized this year but like yeah there's a bit overwhelming energy of now we have to be productive it's the beginning of the year and then there's like those goals 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 which is a good thing but i'm the type of person who i've said this in my philosophy video i believe more in mantras than resolutions 
because i know people tend to have these resolutions that are like way out of pocket or like unrealistic not to like bust anyone's bubble but like i feel like it's easier to have a mantra to live by and like that keeps you accountable so every year i've had like a different mantra and i found i was figuring out mine for this year and it's beauty bounty bliss um a beautiful life a bountiful life and just feelings of bliss that's my mantra for this year um last year was prosperity love and sweetness so i know it's a bit cliche or not cliche but like it's just it's just me you know another year it's been reciprocity another year it's been boundaries another year has been intuition like different years have different things but yeah so i feel like it's easier to live through mantras than it is to live through resolutions i'm really excited but i'm also quite overwhelmed um there's gigs to be done there's promo to do there's content to be created there's articles to be written there's set lists to curate there's business to be done there's money to be made and it's all really super exciting like i can tell you like january by like after new year the first week i was already shooting my shots of like i are we getting back to work we said we're gonna do this in 2022 so are we still doing it like that kind of thing um but i've also learned from me being a workaholic is that i need to t take breaks and like rest so i feel like that's what i've been doing like for the last Okay, no, December was overwhelming because December, I mean, for DJs is, like, really busy to the point where I couldn't even do, like, a gig for 31st. So, just, like, I just want to hang out with, like, my homies because December was crazy and I'm very grateful, of course. Uh, but I have this thing where I used to work myself, like, dry and then I'm exhausted. Nime choka, nime koka, like, nakatuka, yani, my energy is low and it's, like, the money is there or like the serotonin from completing a project is there but it's like i can't even enjoy it because i've completely depleted energy but now i've come to like i think also this is thanks to the pandemic i think if the pandemic didn't come out and be taking my rest as seriously um because you know bills have to be paid and shit but i mean bills still have to be paid but this there's that importance of the balance between rest and working like there's this thing that I saw, um, like, the first week of Jan. It's like, I want to see my niggas, not at you, I just booked and busy. I want well, well booked and properly rested while also making the bag. Obviously, I'm somewhere, I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember the exact words. But, yeah, I wish that for all of us. Like, booked and busy sometimes has this toxic work capitalistic thing in my mind about work 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 plan 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 and then like now you think about oh i'm gonna take a vacation eventually 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 then years have passed by and then now life gets busier because now you're high, like climbing the ladder and like or expanding your horizons or whatever and it gets so crazy so i don't know it's rest is important so that's also something i guess is got, keeping me sane like during all this because Plans for the year are being made, you know, as January goes. I feel like even though people try to avoid the January new year, new me or new year, old me or goals for 2022 or making like a vision board for the year. And when I was making my vision board, I was like, actually, I was going through my 2021 vision board and I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Like I actually like achieved, I think I would say eight out of, of course, not 10 things. Let's say eight out of the 10 things that I had like put out into the universe. So I was, like pretty proud of myself. So I was making my one for 2022 and I included a lot of rest and like fun while including like the work stuff, you know, like it's not just about, um, I feel like the age that we're at, like no, late twenties, um, <laughs> um, it's about that balance and society really lies to us that you have to achieve everything by the time you're 25 or 30 or 35. And I'm like, those are all so young why is my camera shaking is it my voice is it shake i'm i'm tripping anyway um yeah so i feel like society has that thing of um the older that you are i mean um when you have to achieve things by the time you're 25 30 35 
and it's just it's 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 i'm glad as millennials and as gen z's also and like the other generations are gonna come gonna learn that i'm not gonna stay at a job that i don't like that's making me so depressed um and then you wouldn't even climb the ranks you keep being given empty promises about you going to reach that rank and then you don't and then we're also um like prioritizing our youthfulness with work it's like I only have same things like I only have these young years of me to live and like for me young is until like you're around 50 to be honest 20s is young 30s are young 40s are young like each floor I feel has like this different um different what wisdom and youthfulness and you know it comes together in meshes in order for you to like work out so I feel like yeah it's shout out to the balance so it's exciting and overwhelming and i just wanted to check in if you guys are feeling the same way um i know i've not been consistent but i mean <laughs> najaribu um i'd rather provide for you content that or even just talk to you guys um on stuff that i feel is like more genuine more than forced i never ever like to force anything especially like work but yeah, I'm excited for the projects this year that are going to come through, uh, both for me, the people I'm working with, and also for you guys, when, if you're watching this, whenever you're watching this. Like, um, the expectations that January gives us is very, very overwhelming, but it also has that balance of excitement. So um, yeah, I just wanted to check in real quick for January 2022, and wanted to see if you guys are feeling the same way, and... Yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>